Hi, my name is Rishi Hazra, and I'm a sophomore at Skyline High School of the Issaquah School District. Right now, we're at the NRCS USDA website at Report Generator 2.0, which we can use to generate Snowtel data reports from across the country. Now to begin, all we need is the name of the station we're interested in. Now let's say I want to find out more about rainfall in my local area. I live in Sammamish, and my local Snowtel site is in Skookum Creek. I'll go ahead and enter that field and just select it to show up under my selected stations. So let's say I want to compare this data at Skookum Creek to a couple of other regions across the state that may have very different precipitation patterns. Let's say, for example, Green Lake in Yakima, and also perhaps Quartz Peak in Spokane. Now the second stage is to enter the columns. So we need to select the element or elements that we're interested in from the wide variety of data that these snowtail stations collect. Now I mentioned we're wanting to find out more information about rainfall, so let's take a look at precipitation accumulation. You'll notice another column labeled value, and here you can select different statistical representations of this element. Um, for instance, you could take the average or the median. Oh, we'll stick with the absolute value and just select add to put it under our selected columns. Now next up is this third section, which is selecting the time period layout and units. So this is essentially asking us in which frequency do you want to see this data? Do you want to see daily data, monthly data, hourly data, and so forth? I'll go ahead and select the water year, which runs from October to September, essentially following the raining season. And that matches best because we're looking for more information regarding rainfall. And here we have time period, and that's how many of these water years do we want to see the data for? Let's take a look at the last 10 years to see if we can identify any decade-long trends. Now next up is a layout. Here you can hover on top of these options to see what they would look like and select what would best match your needs. I'd recommend going with the chart because it's a graphical representation and easiest to interpret. Now for the units and output format, they should already be pre-selected to English and HTML, so we can leave those be. And then finally, once all these fields are filled out, you can go to the bottom right and select View Report. And here is the Snowtel data report. You can still change some of the fields from the previous page here, or you can return back to create and modify report. And here, there's a nice color key on the right-hand side, and that shows you which graph aligns with which Snowtel station or element, if you have multiple. Um, now, you can also select these to either deselect them and remove them from the graph, or to bring them back in. Another very important aspect is this option to export the chart as an image. Um, if you can do this, you can save this chart um, as an image uh, for future reference or use in a presentation or something to share with your peers or teachers. Uh, to do so, just right click and select Save As. Now that's how you generate a Snowtail data report. Any links that were referenced in the making of this video will be made available in the description below. Thank you!